Hello everyone, Miss Meek here. Today we're going to talk about percent bars. Percent bars are uh, a visual representation of a percent. It's very much like a number line, but for percents. Uh, it also is kind of like if you ever draw a fraction. So uh, if you ever, you know, draw a, a piece of chocolate and you say I ate three fourths of it, and so you shade the amount of chocolate you ate on that that. Uh, candy bar that would be a like fraction bar uh, they're very similar to that except for they are labeled with percents sometimes percent bars are also called tape diagrams so some people will call them tape diagrams uh, some people call them percent bars um, it doesn't really matter what you call them uh, it's the same thing so we're just going to take a look at how we can use percent bars to help us. Again, they're just a visual representation of the percent that you're talking about. And we can actually use them to help us solve problems, but that is for a later lesson. We are not there yet. Um, so let's talk about how do I set up a percent bar? Well, they want me to shade 60% of the percent bar. So the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out, okay, what number am I going to count by? So how am I going to divide this bar up? Um, and it has to be by a number, like I have to count by a number that is not only going to hit 60, but is also going to hit 100 because I have to have a scale. I can't just draw random numbers on this bar. And so one way that I can do that is I can think about, okay, um, I could count by like what goes into 60 and also goes into 100. Well, the first number that comes into mind is 20. I can do 20 times 3, and I can do 20 times 5, and that gets me those two numbers. Uh, so the best number is going to be 20 here for this percent bar. Now there's other numbers, 10 works, 5 works, of course, uh, but we're going to do 20 for this one. So the first thing that I have to think about, okay, is, well, what is 100 divided by 20? Well, 100 divided by 20 is 5. That means that I am going to have 5 sections in my percent bar. That means I have to divide my percent bar up and have 5 sections. So I'm going to try to do this as evenly as possible. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So again, I tried to make them as even as I possibly could, just eyeballing it. And remember, we talked about counting by 20. So this first line right here represents 20%. This second line here represents 40, 60, 80, and then 100. So my scale here is actually going by 20s. I'm counting by 20s. And what they would like for us to do is shade in 60%. So here we go. I'm going to shade in 20%. 40% and 60%. So there's a visual representation of 60%. Again, you could have drawn your fraction or your percent bar in a different way. Like you could have counted by tens. That goes, that would work. You could have counted by fives. That would have also worked. Um, but uh, so our percent bars can look a little bit different, but they should roughly show the same amount shaded no matter which way you count. Okay, you should have a little bit over half of your percent bar shaded in because 60% is over half. 50% is half and 60 is a little bit bigger than 50. All right, on our last one here, shade 90% of the, uh, the percent bar. So again, I'm trying to think of a number that I can count by that will go into 90 and to 100. For this one, I'm thinking the best number is probably going to be 10. So again, to know how many sections that I need in my percent bar, I'm going to uh, ask myself, okay, well, what is 100 divided by 10? That will tell me how many sections I need because I'm going to count by 10. Uh, and 100 divided by 10 is 10. So I'm going to need to divide my uh, percent bar up into 10 sections. All right, so I'm going to start off by roughly dividing this percent bar in half. So right about there. Half, of course, is 50% because half of 100 is 50%, okay? Um, and then I'm going to try to divide this up as equally as possible into sections of 10. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Those sections got a little bit bigger as I went, all right? Uh, one, two, three, 
four, five. So let me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I do have my ten sections. Okay, and then that means that if I'm counting by tens, each one of these little lines that I drew represents ten percent. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, and then 90 here, okay? And they said to shade in 90%, so 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. There you go. Now, again, you could have labeled this percent bar differently. You could have counted by fives or something like that. Um, but you should have about the same amount shaded in as I do here on my example. You should have a uh, very close to almost the entire bar shaded in. Uh, you should have a little section there at the end that is not shaded in. And that's the 10% that is not shaded in out of 100. All right, that is percent bars. Uh, again, they are just a visual representation of what your percent is worth. You can use them to find missing pieces of information and do some other really cool things with them uh, that we will talk about later in a later video. Uh, but that is what a percent bar is. And remember, they also can be called tape diagrams. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye.